Oh, here we go. Oh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh. Oh. All right. Up, oh, sit easy. Oh. 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 That was a long climb. You will have to excuse me because I was just drinking the night away at an annual event where we watch the extended 12-hour cut of Heaven's Gate. This year, we decided to make it more interesting by taking a drink every time a dust cloud appears on screen. So, as you can see, I am clearly drunk off of this very fine clinker brick winery. I bought it because it sounds kind of like Kubrick winery. No worries, though, because it all ties into my feelings towards this little piece of shit called the Holocaust 2. You would have to get me drunk to get me to sit through this shit again. I would rather you... <laughs> rather you slip me a roofie and drop me off in an above-ground coffin in Mexico. So, what kind of holocaust is this? Cannibal holocaust? Jungle holocaust? Zombie holocaust? Oh, dear God, tell me it's not a porno holocaust. Nope, it's just plain holocaust, too. But where does the two come from? I do not recall there being an Italian exploitation flick called Holocaust. Is this one of those movies like Surf 2 or Execution or 2 that wants us to believe that it's a sequel? Or maybe since this movie is about people getting revenge on former Nazis, could, could they be saying that it's a sequel to the actual Holocaust? Oh dear God, I hope not. That is not good at all. I think I may have figured it out. Shh, don't tell anyone. In 1978, there was a TV movie called Holocaust that starred James Woods. And I'm assuming that this movie is just jumping on that bandwagon? It's not completely out of the ordinary for something like that to happen. Remember Bruno Mattai's Terminator 2? So Not nice that it matters perfect anyway, perfect because the movie is so poorly plotted and edited that it almost does feel like you're watching the sequel to a movie that you haven't even fucking seen. Seriously, this is one hard movie to watch. And I am not even saying that because I am drunk. I was completely sober when I saw this movie. The plot is that a group of Holocaust survivors track down former Nazis and take their revenge on them by killing them. That should not be a confusing movie. And for about the first 15 minutes, it isn't really confusing. Especially the opening credits. An Italian film production? Well, can't, can't get much more specific than that. Holocaust 2, The Memories, Delirium, and The Vendetta Part 2? In case you missed it, they're calling it part two. I don't really want to show any more of the opening credits because they splice in real photos of the Holocaust, and, I don't know, for a movie like this, that could be seen as a little distasteful. Just guessing. Although, I, I will show this. Written and directed by John Jonathan? Well, clearly, this director did not go to the Joe D'Amato School of Great Fake Credit Names. The director's real name is Angelo Pinaccio. In 1975, he directed a movie with the alternate title of Exorcist 3. That's right, in 1975. The real Exorcist 2 hadn't even been out yet at that point. Mm. Anyways, after the 15 minute mark, things get really confusing. During a scene where a Nazi gets killed, a scene of a, a gang rape is spliced in, and I'm not exactly sure why. There's all of this espionage shit going on, and I have no fucking idea what any of them are talking about. It's like I'm watching The Good Shepherd, and it's just about as confusing. Sometimes it flashes back to concentration camp scenes, and it's only then that I remember that the movie is even about revenge on former Nazis. 
I'm sorry, I'm just way too wrapped up in this lesbian love triangle and the red-headed hypnotist. I am so fucking drunk right now that I would rather watch Wanda the Sadistic Hypnotist than this movie. Or at least bring back the crazy guy from Wanda. When you hear about the movie, it sounds like I spit on your grave meets Ilsa, and that's what it should have fucking been like. It should have been nothing more than people going around and killing Nazis, but instead they made it so goddamn confusing and that the only thing that truly makes sense is that if a goat licks your feet for an extended period of time, then you will die from being tickled to death. I am not kidding. This is in the fucking movie. There should be nothing overly confusing in a revenge exploitation flick, especially one like this that's only 77 minutes long. Although, and I spit on your grave, I always wondered why Johnny was the second one killed instead of being the last. I mean, he was clearly the lead villain in the movie, and that would have made a much better ending. Her sitting at the fire, listening to music, as opposed to the shot of her hand on the boat motor. Sorry, I, I, I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, back to Holocaust 2. Um, hmm.